Hello, how you doing Mike Bradley? I hope you are doing well as always. Whew, it is very hot in England at the moment, so uh, apologies you start seeing me, uh, well not if I'm going to, I am sweating, so uh, <laughs> apologies right now. So, um, my Hampstead amp has died completely. <laughs> Something blew, it made some noise and it all went, uh, if you're a new video, uh, viewer to me, uh, I usually use a Hampstead amp, which is just off camera, but uh, I'm using my old Cornford the uh, last couple of days, and um, it's a mighty, mighty fine amp. It's a bit hissy, it needs a bit of a, needs a, a bit of a service, but uh, I'm really digging the sound of it, and I posted a little video clip up on Instagram yesterday, and had some nice feedback with it, and you know, and the tone and whatnot, uh, which is very, very nice. And I was just in the mood to share that and uh, to share that tone and uh, share it in a, a cool little lick. So um, let me, I've got to turn the standby off because it makes a bit of a hiss, like I said. Uh, I basically, I've just got this American, probably can hear it now. I've uh, got this American performer strap with a, a lead into it with a little bit of overdrive and. It's very nice. So uh, I think I'm entitling this lick uh, Learn an Arpeggio in a Pentatonic Lick. And it is just that very thing. So we got that. So um, where it came from, it came from my mind literally 62 seconds before I hit record on the camera. <laughs> so um, I'm in the key of B for no other reason than it was just there. And um, if we come in for a close up, we got good old shape one, B minor pentatonic. You should know that, you should know that. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna go, I'm doing a seven to nine on the full string to seven on the third string. So nothing out of the ordinary there, that's pure pentatonic. And then I'm gonna slide from this D to this C sharp. Uh, and that's where we're gonna come out a little bit. So that could be viewed as just normal B minor scale, B natural minor. But now there's the, the cool bit, you know. So we've got this. And if you've got a bit of a keen eye, I'm doing a little bit of sweet picking. This is very, uh, I suppose, I picked this up from being a huge Richie Cotson fan. So thank you, Richie, for everything you brought to this world. Um, so there, I'm going, you could view that as like an F sharp minor arpeggio. So I'm playing uh, the, the, uh, the, the C sharp. Um, and then going up to the A, and then this F sharp on the, the ninth fret. So sixth fret, third string, seventh fret, fourth string, ninth fret on the fifth string, using one, two, and four fingers. And then like I say, I'm doing a little bit of sweep. So I'm doing a down on that uh, C sharp, and then doing an up pick on the seventh fret on the full string. And then when you sweep, you kind of, you hit the string, and then my pick is resting ready on that now fifth string. And you pick that. So uh, sweet picking is basically classical rest strokes. You're, you want that kind of falling down the stairs kind of thing, you know? I mean, you could pick it individually, whatever works for you. This isn't really a lesson on sweet picking. I'm not, you know, no master at sweet picking, far from it. But. That's what I'm kind of doing there. A bit slower, well, a lot slower. So that's the arpeggio, all right? Now, this isn't what I was doing the lick, but if I went to the D note there, that would be now a D major seven arpeggio. If it would be really cool, you could hit that uh, ninth fret on the third string, that would be a D major nine arpeggio. You can still see your pentatonic. So I did that slide to the flat five thing. Which is quite cool, impresses your nan. 
So um, you could, you no. Know, as always, if you're again, if you if you're a new viewer to me here, I always say nothing's verbatim, nothing's ever written in stone. In each lick, there is like sixty licks. So take it completely, rip it apart, add your own stuff to it. You know. And if you are a new viewer here, hit that subscribe button and the bell one. Why not? Anyway, so we got that happening, and then. I go, I'm gonna go to the seventh fret on the full string and then slide to the ninth fret on the full string. So you got that happening, so that's showing our, our beat. Great sound. Um, and then uh, I'm actually doing a bit of a pick thing here as well, which, you know, I'm not the greatest picker, but uh, this seems to be all right. Um, and it's basically B natural minor scale, you know? B pentatonic, B natural minor scale, all of that are the same notes apart from one notes added in, uh, well, two notes added in. So, so I believe I'm doing straight pentatonic there, just doing hammer-ons. Seven nine seven nine on the fourth and third strings, and then then I pick one two three four five the next five notes. So I'm going seven on the second string, what's that F sharp, and going down the scale. So F sharp G A seven eight ten, and then seven on the first string, and then nine on the first string, which is coming from the natural minor scale. And when I get to that ninth fret, I'm bending it, I believe, straight away, a semitone. So you've got to watch your in notation a little bit there. Then bring it back down to pitch on the ninth fret. And then end on B twice. Why not? And really give the attitude. Uh, that was the thing when I play with this kind of bluesy, this is the kind of guitar tone I, I like, you know. No pedals, overdrives coming from the amp, you know, and it's just... And it makes you wanna just, you know, smash the notes, you know, a la Stevie Ray. Um, so... And you gotta do a face. The face makes the tone. <laughs> I always get comments like, why do you do those faces? I don't know. I don't know why I do the faces. You know, my mum's been whinging at me since I was 14 about my faces. You know, I can't help it. It's just, it just, it just, when I'm into it, if I'm not into it, I'm not making a face really. So if I'm really into it, the face just happens. See, I didn't know I was doing that there. So I'm really uh, letting that be, you know, I'm. Shaking it to town there a little bit. And if you want, we've got a bit of reverb on, thanks to the Hall of Fame. Do not slide off, stop it, and let the reverb take it. So really slowly. Up to speed a little bit. There you have it, an arpeggio in a pentatonic lick slash natural minor scale lick a la me, a la Richie Kotzen, a la Greg Howe, a la, I don't know. <laughs> Anyone incorporates arpeggios with their pentatonics. Um, but it's a cool little thing, as always do it nice and slow. The sweet thing if you're new to that. That might be a little bit of a problem. Like I say, you could pick it. Let me give it a go. Oh, I can't. I'm so used to You could um, no, hammer on without even hitting the strings, you know. You could do that, you know, if you struggle with it. But it's worth, it's just slowly, you know, practice everything slowly. Cool little thing, and like I say, the 
a little extra thing I've given you there. I really like that. If you um, plug, plug here, uh, my, my tune, The Devil's On My Side, there's a bit I do in it. Uh, I put that in there. Which is using that very same idea there, all right? Check out the song if you if you haven't. It's on YouTube, it's on iTunes. You can go to my website, mikebradleymusic.com and get it there. Um, anyway, so have fun with that. Uh, let me know how you get on with it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and uh, how you are getting on with it. If you want to be super cool, like I mentioned, I'm on Instagram, so, uh, you know, share it. We've all got camera. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone's got an Instagram channel now or account, sorry, so uh, film yourself and tag me and it'd be really cool. Um, thank you all for your love and support. Thank you to everyone on Patreon. Uh, if you want to be really, really cool, you can get now some Mike Bradley t-shirts, which are popping up. Uh, so, and if you're on Patreon, there's a discount code. Uh, you can get up to 50%, uh, I think. You can get, but it starts off at 10%. So, yeah, if you're if you're a Patreon, be sure to get one. But uh, and thank you to everyone who have been. It's been cool seeing your pictures and that people have been sending to me. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, hopefully this is a cool little lick to add into your repertoire. And uh, like I say, it's that kind of arpeggio pentatonic thing is the thing I do. It breaks you out of sounding. Um, I suppose like everyone else doing pentatonics. You know, pentatonics are great. I, I, you know. We love our pentatonics, you know, um, but sometimes it can be a bit samey if you're doing a solo and everything's just, you know, it's good to be able to, even just that, that little bend there, that's bringing in the, you know, like I say, the natural minor scale. And it adds um, a touch of uh, melodic, melodicness, if that's even a word I've now just made up. Anyway, I'm rambling. Lots of love as always. Thank you for the support. Share with your friends. And uh, I look forward to seeing these arpeggio pentatonic bluesy licks coming out. Anyway, I've been Mike Bradley. I'll see you soon. Mike Bradley signing out. The devil's on my side. Talking to myself.